The International Criminal Court reacted to the threats of Russia because of the warrant for the arrest of Putin. The Presidium of the Assembly of States Parties to the Rome Statute declared its unwavering support for the International Criminal Court. The Presidency of the Assembly regrets these attempts to hinder international efforts to ensure accountability for acts that are prohibited under general international law. The International Criminal Court embodies our collective commitment to fight impunity for the gravest international crimes. As an institution of last resort, the court is complementary to national jurisdictions. We call on all states to respect its judicial and prosecutorial independence. From the official website of the International Criminal Court. After the issuance of warrants for the arrest of Putin and the Commissioner for Children's Rights under the President of Russia, Lvova Bilova, threats rained down on the ICC. The Children's Ombudsman called the decision nonsense which is based on fakes, myths and invented stories. And Deputy Chairman of the Federation Council Medvedev said that Putin's arrest would allegedly mean a declaration of war on Russia. And he threatened that in this case all Russian phones, including nuclear weapons will fly into government buildings in Europe. The first public and external reaction we see is the initiation by the investigative committee of a criminal case against those who issued the arrest warrant for the International Court, hysterical promises to launch rockets at the building of the International Court in The Hague by the former president, former man Dmitry Medvedev, who is now better known as a telegram blogger, especially on Fridays. Accordingly, this is hysteria, which is designed to show how loyal the entire ruling class is to Putin. Any state that has signed and ratified the Rome Statute should have the Russian president arrested if Putin visits, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken confirmed. However, Hungary is not ready to detain Putin, said the head of the office, Prime Minister Gergli Gulyash. Despite a warrant from the International Criminal Court, Putin was invited to the BRICS summit in South Africa. Cape Town intends to hold consultations with Moscow about a possible arrest. But Brazil, a partner of Russia and South Africa in organizing the BRICS are ready to comply with the decision of the ICC. Brazil is a member state of the International Criminal Court and abides by its decisions. Therefore, Putin's visit to Brazil, if it takes place, as well as any of his presence in the country, will undoubtedly have consequences for the Russian president, Mauro Vieira, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Brazil, in an interview with Metropols. Putin's arrest, thanks to the verdict of the International Criminal Court, is only one way to bring him to justice. This summer, the International Center for the Investigation of the Crime of Aggression will start operating in the Hague. A new body will prepare materials that will later become an accusatory base at a special tribunal, so that everyone who gave criminal orders and organized the genocide of the Ukrainian people would be punished. Reported by Srihikulas Valerian Kapelova, UATV News.